Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another pickups video. This time showing the VHS tapes that I've picked up over the past couple of weekends. But before I get to them, I want to get to a tape that I already had in my collection, but I feel it has some historical significance. When you think of fourth television network, most people would think of Fox. Because for the longest time you had ABC, NBC, and CBS, and then came Fox. But in the early days of television, we're talking the 1940s, there were four networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Dumont. This tape includes two episodes of a television series that aired naturally live on the Dumont network. Cavalcade of Stars. Now, Cavalcade of Stars was um, Dumont's longest running series. It ran from 1949 until 1952. And as it's hosted by Jackie Gleason, I can narrow it down a little bit because he hosted the series from 1950 to 1952. So the two episodes that are on this tape are from that period. And Jackie Gleason had in his contract a stipulation that Whenever he appeared on television, it would be saved on kinescopes. This is what they had before videotape. They would shoot a television monitor with a film camera, which would use a mechanical shuttering device to get around the fact that they have different frame rates. Talk about film and video. Now, one of the segments on one of the episodes, quite a lengthy one, includes a very good friend of Jackie Gleason's at that time. Bert Wheeler, I hear. He was uh, one half of the comedy team of Wheeler and Woolsey. Well, their uh, movies, by the way, were released on Laserdisc and some are Laserdisc exclusives. Anyway, um, Bert Wheeler, good friend of uh, Jackie Gleason's, and he did quite a lengthy monologue in one of the episodes, comedy uh, monologue, and it's quite interesting to watch because they're referring, he's referring to things that no longer exist, such as Kaiser as a car manufacturer. Anyway, on to the tapes that I have picked up over the past couple of weekends. This is a werewolf movie that came out just prior to another werewolf movie, An American Werewolf in London. This is The Howling, directed by Joe Dante. As it was released by MGM Home Entertainment, it is a fairly new tape because um, for most of home videos existence, their videos were released under the name of MGM UA Home Video. Okay, next we have Wild Things. A Hitchcock film, don't mind the um, $2 notation there. The place I go to at the flea market that sells VHS tapes, uh, everything's a dollar. So this was a dollar. The Hitchcock film, Lifeboat. This was released on 20th Century Fox's budget label, Key Video. I don't know if you'd be able to see that or not. But unlike some studios' budget lines, Fox used high quality tape for their budget releases and recorded in the standard SP mode. Now the label is a little dirty, but tape is in perfect condition. In fact, I've already watched this tape twice and it plays perfectly.
Okay, have another Hitchcock film. Saboteur, not to be confused with another Hitchcock film, Sabotage. Octopus. This was Steven Spielberg's first theatrical film. His first actual film was made for television, and that was Duel. This is his first film made for theatrical release, The Sugar Land Express. Featured in the cast, Goldie Hawn. This is based on a true story, by the way. And I, I don't know why I really bought it on VHS, because I already have it in widescreen on Laserdisc, but what the hey. The Gift. Frogs for Snakes. The Forsaken. One in a long line of Abbott and Costello meet films. This is Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. I think the one I already have on VHS is Abbott and Costello meet uh, the Invisible Man. Evidence of Blood. Tower's getting rather large, so I think I'll have to start stacking here. Wild thing. Dark blue. Normal. This one is still sealed and features in the cast Margot Kidder. Mob Story. Again, all the VHS tapes that I pick up at the Lee Market are a dollar a piece. Okay, this film features John Wayne in the cast without reservations. I don't think I've ever seen this film before. Originally released by RKO. But uh, Turner Home Entertainment owns the RKO Library. That's who puts out that tape, or who put out that tape. The Hours. Danger Beneath the Sea. in a yellow cartridge. Fever Lake.
facing the enemy. Supreme Sanction. Vertical limit. This is a type of computer animation from Miramar, the mind's eye. This includes a creation, heart of the machine, postmodern, leaving the bands of earth, civilization rising, techno dance, love found, and the temple. Distributed by BMG. And finally, we have a remake, The Dead Zone. Really like the original with uh, Christopher Walken. Haven't seen this one, so I have to reserve judgment. Okay, still have more to show. My uh, pickups for DVDs and also anime, and I've got some packages coming. So until next time. Stay awesome.